Okay, so at the start of FIFA, a lot of people go and make a Premier League starter team. However, this is not the way you want to save coins and still have a lot of coins for trading and just essentially just having coins to enter the draft, to buy packs, do SPCs. If you want to do all that kind of stuff whilst having a still a decent team to compete in division rivals and foot champions, do not make a Premier League starter team. Today I put together a starter team in the 4-3-3 formation, which is generally what most formations what mo not, is generally what most people use uh, at the start of FIFA. It's quite a balanced formation. You know, you can easily put it as like one to a centre mid to a CDM or one to a cam. Uh, so I've gone for the 4-3-3 formation, and I've chosen the Liga Nos, which is the Portuguese uh, top league with the likes of Benfica and Porterin. So I'm going to go for the team now and explain why I choose each player. Okay, so in goal, we've got Viviano. Now, there's two main goalkeepers in the Liga Nos. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. You've got Casillas and you've got Viviano. Uh, now, I just chose Viviano. In terms of goalkeeper, you just want someone who's tall. And so you don't want to spend a lot of coins just on your goalkeeper. Because at the end of the day, just, like, just stopping sweaty goals, it, it's not going to be easy. I might like invest a lot into a goalkeeper, and that's why I've just gone for, again, just a decent keeper in the Liga Nos. Okay, so on the centre backs, there wasn't too much choice, uh, and with Midtown moving to uh, the Liga Santander, I've gone for Matthew. Uh, Matthew? Matthew? However you say his name, who I believe used to play for Barcelona. And I've also gone for Jardel. Now, the two centre backs are probably the main weakness in the team because they don't have too much pace. Uh, I mean, Matthew's not going to have bucket loads of pace, but he's going to have more pace than Jardel. Um, yeah, I like to have pacey centre backs. The Liga Nos isn't really known for having pacey centre backs, so that's one of the disadvantages about this team. But there's the two centre backs I chose because, you know, they've got decent defending, physical, and they're not bad in terms of height. And now on the right hand side, we've got a player who you can see on the screen right now. I'm not going to try and pronounce their name because it's going to be virtually impossible. But again, another fullback with very similar pace to our left back. Both expect them to have minimum 85 pace each, if not looking towards 88 pace. Okay, so our three centre mids have gone for uh, Bruno Fernandes, who is more of a cam. So if you do want to play the 4 3 3 with a cam, you can put Bruno, Bruno Fernandes there. Again, he's been linked with top clubs like Man United. However, so far, he has stayed in the Liga North. So we're going to put him into this team. Uh, again, probably one of the best centre mids or midfielders in the Liga North right now. Uh, he's got a really good passing, he's going to be a real good playmaker. Uh, we'll just send balls up, into the, up to the striker and even play it on the left and right hand side of the attacking area. Okay, so my other two centre mids, uh, I picked mainly because they are very high physical. Now for me, physicality is something which I think people disregard quite a bit in terms of making these starter teams. Now, one of these guys, I can't say his name, I'm going to put him on screen right now so you can see him. I'm going to put like an arrow or something around him on the pitch. Uh, yeah, I reckon you'll have about eight, between 85 to about 88 physical, uh, and for the other guy, Bata, Bata Aglia, uh, again, the Liga Nos, I really shouldn't have picked the Liga Nos to make a team around, because I can't say half the names, but again, this guy, I reckon, will have around 85 physicality, so you have two centre mids, you can play more CDMs in the late game, like 60th minute onwards, and will really just put in a good tackle, uh, play real, have a lot of strength to again boss that midfield and yeah something where I think people disregard is having a strong midfield and having a midfield which can again be able to real send some good balls up into your striker. Okay so like the full backs, my left back and right back in this team, my left wing and my right wing have a lot of pace. Now both of them I will expect to have about around 90 pace, uh, both of them. Uh, so on the left hand side we've got Servi, he was Argentinian, uh, yeah, I reckon around 90 pace, uh, and for Hanani on the right hand side. The two bad things about these two uh, wingers is they don't have a lot of shooting, so this team in my opinion is going to be essentially wing bash it, get to your left wing and right wing and whip a ball in the box for Morega who's going to play a striker who has around... I expect to have around 85 to 90 physicality on the game. So this this team, the main things about this team is going to be high physicality, uh, left inside and right inside has a lot of pace, 
main tactics is to essentially just wing bash it uh, and essentially the one negative I'll say about this league and starter team is the two centre backs don't have a lot of pace so don't play a high line because it's not going to work uh, especially on corners make sure you have defenders back uh, because your two centre backs aren't, aren't going to be able to catch up uh, and yeah that's the main thing about the team I can also quickly say about Mavega I think his dribbling's very low but that's why you wing bash it He's going to be mainly used for headers and essentially just one on one for the goalkeeper. He's not going to have to dribble around a lot of players. You may want to put as a tactic in game for Morega to stay up. So you don't want Morega to track back at all. You just want him to stay on that line of the defence so Bruno Fernandes can play balls into him or on the wings you can cross it into Morega who can head it into the back of the goal. Okay, so that's my Liga Nost start team. I will put a prize prediction down below in the comment section. Uh, I think this is a very good team, to be honest. I will probably make this team myself, depending on how many coins I get, who I get in my starter packs. You know, if I get like a bunch of Bundesliga players in my starter packs, I may, may end up making a team around them and just scrapping this idea. But in terms of tactical, this team has got what I think a lot of teams won't have, like physicality. Uh, that's the main that's the main strength about this team is what I think separates it from the other starter teams which people are making.